Hi, I'm Kevin. I'm Mike Bell. And this video is for those of you who just got a guitar and wonders what the hell I'm supposed to do with this. So I guess the first thing is uh, check that your guitar is tuned in the standard tuning. For that you can buy a tuner in a music store or more easy, cheap and practical, look for some tuner application. Guitar strings go from this string, usually call it the lower string because got the lower uh, tune or sixth string, E, A, D, G, B, E. Eddie 8 Dynamite, good by Eddie. So as you see the first and sixth string are tuned in the same note, only in a lower tone. One last advice I can give you is that new strings, if you just got a jar guitar or you, ha you have changed the strings, tend to go out of tune easily. So maybe you need to tune a few times the strings before they uh, remain tuned. Now that you got your guitar tuned, it's time to start playing. And the question now will be, what can I play with a guitar? The simple answer will be, you can play chords or you can play melodies, solos, guitar riffs, etc. Let's start with the chords. Chords are the rhythmical part of the guitar and they make like the background of the music. If you want to sing along while playing the guitar, you have to play chords. You can play chords also when someone is playing a, a solo or something like that. How to play them? For example, let's start with a C major chord or C chord. You have to place your fingers, as you see in the diagram, pressing the string between the metal frets. Because if you play the metal fret, you will hear things like that. So, as you see in the diagram, you have to place a finger in the B string, first fret, other finger in the D string, second fret, and one last finger in the third fret of the A string. And the other string will be open strings. And you have to be careful, so the finger that is playing here, the third fret of the A string, is not touching the lowest string and this string, this index finger here, is not touching neither the E or the G strings. That's the... You have to be careful with your fingers. If the chord doesn't sound right, what I recommend you is to stop and play a string by a string looking for, looking for the mistake. For example, let's imagine that with your index you are not pressing too hard. You will hear this. There you go, that's a mistake. You have to make more pressure. And once you get the, the chord and there you get a clean sound, it's time for, to use your right hand and to make some rhythm or what we call a strum. An easy one will be for example play all the time all the strings down with your thumb or with your index or with your fingers or a pick uh, as you want or play down and then up And when you play four times, or eight, uh, you can try to change to another chord. Uh, let's say for example A minor. Is, this is... And as you see in this chord, you have to uh, mute or don't play the low E. So you have to start playing here. This is a bit tricky at first. What people used to do is place the thumb here and mute the string, barely touching it. So let's say we are in a C chord, play four times with our thumb, with our index, whatever we want, down. Then try to change to I minor. As you see, I'm only moving one finger, the, the ring finger, from the third fret to the second fret of the E string. And there you go, that's
that's some sort of a song, I guess. Other ex examples of chords will be for major chords. We got the C, we got a G, a D, that got only these four strings, or an E chord. And for minor chords, I don't know, as we have seen, A minor, E minor, a very simple and beautiful one, and D minor. And that's the basic about chords. We will talk more about them in the next video. Be patient and practice, because it will be hard to keep the rhythm and change uh, between chords. We have been all there and it will be hard, I can assure you. So be patient and practice. And now apart from chords you can play solos, melodies or riffs. This is playing a single notes in the guitar, like this. That could be a melody. So what you see below me is a tap. This is like a very simple and easy musical sheet. You got six strings as the guitar and if you start reading you'll see a three in the A string. Go to the A string and place your finger in the third fret. One, two, three. And play. As you see the string in the top of the tap is the string in the bottom of the neck. This one. It's weird but you get used to it. Then there is a 5, so again move the finger to the 5th fret. <clears throat> Zeros are, open for, um, are for open strings. This is playing the string without pressing any fret. A blues riff, for example, will be... Where the line between the 2 and the 3 indicates a slide. A slide is play a note once and quickly move the finger to other fret. So as you see, uh, start on the second fret, slide to the third, open, third, open and second fret. And the line in the second fret indicates a vibrato. This is move the finger and the hand so you hear the string vibrating. Other effects you can find in taps, for, for example, hammer on. This is play a note and then hammer with your finger. Or pull off. This is take, play the note and take off the finger. Or mm, bend bend is to force the string up, so play once and force the string. And that's some effects you can find in taps. We will talk more, more deeper uh, about taps in other video. And now let's combine chords with a melody. some sort of a song, not a very good one, but all you have to do is look for some good chords, for example play 4 instead of 2, and play with your guitar, try to find a good melody. Mm -hmm. 